I've made a lot of guides in GTA Online, but I've never told you how to make money without even playing the game. So today, that's what we're gonna do. This is the best way to make money while you're AFK in GTA Online. I'm gonna walk you through it step by step so that you can make millions of dollars while you're at work, school, asleep, anywhere. So let's go. Now, in order to make money while AFK, you don't really need any businesses, but I'm gonna be showing you the businesses that will make this the most effective and will give you the most money. So for this strategy, we're gonna be making use of the arcade, the nightclub, the agency, the acid lab, the bunker, crate warehouses, and any other passive businesses that you wanna use. So it depends if you wanna use five MC businesses or none. So before we go AFK, I need you to do a couple of things. The first thing is I want you to go around and clean out all of your safes in GTA Online. So go take all of the money out of your nightclub safe, all of the money out of your arcade safe, and your agency safe. Then we're almost ready to go AFK. But first, here's a message from today's sponsor. Yo, what the hell? Where does this Ethernet cable go? Are you AFK farming again, mate? Of course, but this time... I'm playing Raid Shadow Legends while I do it. <laughs> Today's video is sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. Raid can look super complex at the start, but once you understand the basics, you'll be summoning shards and beating bosses in no time. Like I say on my streams, I really enjoy games where I can create my own playstyle and unlock a lot of different weapons and champions, and that aspect really stands out to me. You're going to want to focus on getting your starting character as high a level as you possibly can. That's what I did because a high level champion can power you through the campaign and get you into those dungeons and other endgame content. All new players get access to a Valentine themed adventure called Raid Love Quest. Copy your in-game player ID and go to raidlovequest.plarium.com to play a mini game for a chance to win some prizes like a Valentine's themed champion or an Amazon gift card up to a thousand dollars. And if you haven't started playing Raid yet, click my link in the description below or scan my QR code that's on the screen right now. You'll get unique bonuses worth $35, including free epic champion Jotun and other useful stuff. And thank you to Raid for sponsoring today's video. Next, I want you to make sure that your nightclub popularity is full. Now, if it's not full, there's a couple of ways you can do this, but I'm gonna show you the most effective. If you log onto your nightclub computer, you can choose different DJs for your nightclub. We all know that, of course. It will either say rebook a DJ DJ for $10,000 or book a new DJ for $100,000. Now, if you have to book a new DJ for $100,000, that's going to put you in a mission that helps you go recruit a new DJ, bring them back to the nightclub. That's also going to fully restock your nightclub popularity. But I'm assuming most players have already got all four DJs, so instead, you're going to click rebook on a different DJ for $10,000. That is going to fill up your nightclub popularity by 10%. So the most time effective way to fill up your popularity is by doing that 10 times. Now, if you do this at the computer upstairs in your office, every time you rebook a DJ, it's gonna put you in a cutscene, and then it's gonna spawn you in the middle of the dance floor. That's really annoying because then you have to run all the way back up to your office and do it all over again 10 times. So instead, I want you to go to the elevator of your nightclub and go down to basement level one and use the computer there. When you rebook DJs at the computer in the basement, it will do it instantly and you won't need to go through a cutscene. The only problem with that is it won't live update your nightclub popularity, so you're gonna have to hop off the computer then jump back on in order to see what your nightclub popularity is. You can see me doing that on screen here, and once your nightclub popularity is full, we can go to the next step. The next thing I want you to do is fully restock any businesses that you plan to use while you're AFK. So these are your passive businesses. Make sure your bunker is fully restocked, your acid lab is fully restocked, if you want to do your MC businesses, make sure they're restocked as well. And finally, in your nightclub, make sure that you have five technicians assigned to get you goods. From there, I want you to go into every single crate warehouse you have. If you only have one, go in there. If you have five, go into all five. Go to the technician that's in your warehouse and get them to source goods for you. That way, when we go AFK, they'll still be sourcing goods and they can get us anywhere between one and three crates each. All right, so you're all set up. It's time to go AFK. How do we actually go AFK in 2023? Well, as of right now, my favorite working method is through the LS car meet. This is also the best in my opinion because you will actually make more money by going AFK in the LS car meet. Let me explain. 
So to set this up, go into the LS car meet, go grab one of the test rides over here, or you can use your own car, it's up to you. Then you want to take it into the test track below the LS car meet. Also make sure you're in an invite only session so that the lobby doesn't crash for whatever reason. Once you're on the test track, I want you to back up and go to the exit doors here. Once you're in this screen, don't do anything else. Just leave it on this screen right here. While you're in this screen, you won't get kicked for inactivity. So you set up, you can go leave your PlayStation, your Xbox, whatever it is. Just make sure your controller's plugged in so it doesn't die. But why is the LS Kami the best in my opinion? Well, that's because anytime you're in the LS Kami, you are gaining reputation for the LS Kami. So simply just by leaving your console or PC on, you're gonna be gaining LS Kami rep. And every time you rank up in the LS Kami, you're gonna get a bit of money. So it's just another extra way to make money. All right, so how long should you go AFK for? Well, honestly, it's up to you. Personally, I would just go AFK for however long you're gonna be at work, school, or sleeping for. I tested this out by going AFK for about 20 hours, so let's see the results. First thing I want to do is go to my nightclub and pick up all the money from the safe. As you can see here, $250,000 is in the safe, it's full, awesome, so that's a free $250,000. I'm also going to spend $100,000 by constantly rebooking DJs again, that way my nightclub popularity will be full again. Let's check how much money our nightclub made in the warehouse as well. So as you can see here, it's over $800,000, that's completely free money, now we can just do a sell mission, should only take about 3 to 5 minutes and all of that money will be ours. Next up, let's head over to the arcade. Your arcade safe should also be full. This safe gives you $5,000 every 48 minutes. So because I left my console on for so long, it's completely full, 100 grand, easy. Next, we're gonna go over to the agency and have a look at the safe in here. I've got $148,000. Now this is gonna depend on how many security contracts you've done. Personally, I've done 60, so this safe will make me about seven-ish thousand dollars an hour. Each five security contracts you complete, by the way, will increase the amount of money this safe makes you by $500 every 48 minutes. So I know some people that are making $20,000 an hour through this safe, it's kind of crazy. So just by going through all the safes and the nightclub, we're already at over $1 million for basically just logging back into the game. Next thing we're gonna do is head over to our Acid Lab. One full restock of the Acid Lab will get you about $209,000 worth of acid. So we're gonna go and sell this as well. Keep in mind, if you wanna make even more money while doing this, do it in a public session. Because when you're in a public session, you're gonna get more money for every single person that's in that lobby. So 2% bonus for each person. So you could end up with 60% more money if you do this in a full lobby. If you choose to do this in a public lobby though, make sure you're set up as a CEO so that you can activate Ghost Organization and then call Lester after that if your timer runs out on the Ghost Org. That way that'll give you four minutes total to complete this cell mission without being on the radar at all. So hopefully that helps you stop getting griefed. After that, it's time to visit the crate warehouses again. So each of these should have one to three more crates in them than they did when you left. So that potentially could be up to $100,000 extra if you have five crate warehouses. And then finally, head over to your arcade, go into your master control terminal and look at all of the other passive businesses that you've resupplied before you left. If you've got the upgrades for all of your businesses here, the bunker would have made you $210,000 extra. That stock should just be sitting there waiting to sell. If you have the lockup, that would have made you over $200,000 as well. The lab would make you about $178,000 and the cash factory would make you about $176,000. Plus, if you wanted to do the green farm as well, that would have made you $189,000. So all up, if you did the four MC businesses plus the bunker, that's just under $1 million in passive income through those businesses that you made while you were AFK. So to recap, if you're doing this effectively, you would have made about $500,000 while you were AFK just with your safes. Anywhere between $500,000 to a million dollars with your nightclub, potentially up to a million dollars worth of passive income through your MC businesses and bunker, another $210,000 through your acid lab, and then potentially even above $100,000 with your crate warehouses. That is absolutely insane for not even playing the game at all. I hope that helped. If it did, a thumbs up would be awesome. Subscribe for more stuff like this. Hope you stand safe, and I will see you in the next video. Boys. Paper, I've been on my grind since I was